Traveling and exploring are very interesting experiences, and if you're the kind of person that likes the idea of paradise, you should visit Boracay. This location will not only show you what it feels like to live in paradise, but it'll also allow you for various interesting activities like shopping, jet skiing, scuba diving, and more. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 things to do in Boracay, Philippines. Take a sail on a para boat. Talk about understatements. Sailing on a para boat is one of the easiest things you can enjoy if you go visiting Boracay. These sailboats have found a way to add more color to the beach and the islands, and they've been around for a very long time. These boats, created from bamboo and wood, can be traced back to the early 1200s, where their designs originated. Taking a ride on one of these boats would be an interesting experience and would allow you to visit abandoned beaches, sites for snorkeling, and give you the advantage of riding the waves at a high speed. Para sailing is an interesting activity, especially for tourists, but you'll need a considerable amount of wind to really enjoy this ride. Zipline Mount Luho Do you have a thing for heights and a thrilling adrenaline rush? If your answer is yes, then ziplining Mount Luho should be on your bucket list. Mount Luho is the tallest land location in Boracay, and because of this, it's become a tourist attraction that measures more than 90 meters above sea level. It's a tiny mountain with a wonderful viewing deck, where you can not only take beautiful pictures, but also get a breathtaking view of the east coast. A lot of people climb this mountain for fun, and although it's not easy to scale your way up the mountain, it's completely worth it if you'd manage to do so. One thing you should not miss out on when visiting Mount Luho is partaking in the zip line. Let me give you a quick overview of how it works. Attached to two different points on the line is a cable, and the zipline adventure has to do with the adventurous traveling from two points with the help of gravity. Now the interesting part about ziplining is that you can go so fast, you can actually reach up to 60 miles an hour, so if you're interested in the rush, I suggest you don't eat anything before this. Cliff Dive Magic Island Magic Island has made a name for itself attracting a lot of tourists to partake in one thing and one thing alone which is cliff diving. To partake in this beautiful adventure and activity, we'd need one main ingredient, and that is courage. Because of its position in Boracay, the water on Magic Island is so clear that you can almost see the bottom. Magic Island is not as tall as places like Aklan, but you can jump as many times as you want, which will allow you to practice as much as you want, so you'll be bold enough to jump from higher places. There are different platforms you can jump from on Magic Island, starting from 10 feet to 30 feet high, and of course, children are always instructed to jump from the lowest point. If you have fears about the water carrying you away or pulling you in, there are lifeguards near the cliff, and of course people that are around to cheer you on, so if you ever find yourself visiting Boracay, you should visit Magic Island. Take a picture at Willy's Rock. Willy's Rock is another beautiful tourist attraction that has been formed thanks to a volcanic eruption. You can find this rock along the waters of Station 1 in Boracay. And this rock has a distinct structure, which is one of the main reasons tourists visit it a lot. On Willie's Rock, you can also find a tiny shrine which is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. If you like taking pictures and like to flood your Instagram or other social media with stunning pics of you and the most beautiful sunset, then you should definitely visit this place. This place is accessible by foot, and it's very difficult to miss because of its size. Visiting Willie's Rock is possible at any time of the year and any time of day but I suggest that you visit this rock between the months of November and April when the weather is cool. Ride the Zorb This one is an adventurous beach activity, and although the duration for which you'll ride is pretty short, being inside gives you the illusion of a lot of time passing by. The Zorb, also known as the Orb, is a giant ball that's made out of plastic that's usually transparent. Getting into the Zorb will provide you with a downhill adventure, which can be pretty scary in a way. Riding the Zorb will allow you to choose between the two types that are present, which are the harness and non-harness orbs. So, what's the difference? The harness orbs are constructed to carry two riders, while the non-harness orbs can carry up to three. Enjoy a night out with the Boracay Pub Crawl. Boracay is an island that has everything for every age group. Of course, there are some places that the younger ones cannot visit, but Boracay also has some custom activities for young people. This resort island has numerous bars and pubs, which attract different people from all over the world. The bars are also quite peaceful, because everyone is there to have a little fun. Visiting the Boracay pub crawl at night will allow you to meet new people and create unforgettable memories. You also get the advantage of watching live bands perform, especially between the hours of 6 and 8. 
If you're visiting Borake, the pub crawl is definitely a place you should go, not only due to the fun and the connections, but also because you can take stunning pictures around that location. Go on a mainland adventure tour. There are lots of activities to partake in when visiting Borake, and you can pay a visit to one of the beaches which will allow you to do various activities like caving, river trekking, and river tubing. Now, activities do not lose their flavor, since there are so many things to do like eating and even relaxing in the water, which is why you can never get bored if you decide to go on a mainland adventure tour of Borake. Some activities and places are only open at night because the nighttime adds to the adventure, and you can also visit caves and maybe you'll be able to see some exciting cave structures. Borake Island is a complete package of an adventure. Beach Hop the Beaches of Borake there are several beaches in Borake where you can enjoy a lot of adventurous activities like White Beach, which is the most popular beach when it comes to tourism. This beach is covered in white sand, which is quite soft to the touch, and has stunning scenery where you can sit and enjoy or take pictures if you please. White Beach is also known as the heart of Borake Island, and it's a 20-minute ride from the main port in Borake. Another interesting beach you should not miss out on is the Puka Shell Beach, also known as the Seashell Beach. This beach is the second largest in Borake, and just like the white beach, the sand is soft. But that's not the main thing that makes this beach stand out. As you can see from the name, the Puka Shell Beach is popular for various shells that populate the sand. This place also isn't crowded with tourists, so if you're an introvert and want some alone time, you should definitely check this one out. Get scuba certified for cheap. Are you interested in scuba diving? And have you always wondered what it feels like to be at the bottom of the ocean? Well, not literally the bottom, since that's uncharted territory, technically speaking. But being in the ocean or the sea is a completely different feeling from things like being in a swimming pool. In Borake, you can get your own certification for scuba diving at a lower rate than you'd get it anywhere else. And of course, this certification can be used anytime, anywhere on the globe. This will allow you the opportunity for adventure and learning at the same time. Take a helicopter tour of the island. The helicopter tour experience will take you several hundred feet above the ground to get a stunning view of what the islands look like from above. You'll also be able to see numerous beaches, coconut trees, and clear waters from the sky. The company responsible for doing this is Green Heli, and before your flight starts, there's an air-conditioned lounge that will allow you to cool off so you don't feel the heat depending on what the weather is. The helicopter tour of the island will also expose you to stunning views of Mount Luho, Carabao Island, Diniweed Beach, and an overview of the horizon. If you're feeling adventurous or have a special person you want to spend a heartfelt moment with, this is definitely something you should try out. And there you have it, guys. Are there any other adventurous things you would have loved to see in this video? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, before you leave, be sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, along with ringing the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next travel tips. Thanks for watching. Until next time.